Hi, Lavinia. I can see you're ready for the story. Yes, Dad. I've been waiting for it the whole day. I'm sure you'll love it. Toward the end of the third century, there lived a Christian man named Marcos. He was the ruler of two districts in Egypt, and he was a very rich man. Hello, my beloved Demiana. How are you doing today? Thank God, Dad. My friends and I visited many poor families, and we shared food and clothes with them. I really love to help the poor and feel happy when I serve them. You are a beautiful girl, Demiana. Not only you look beautiful, but your heart is also so kind. I always remember Jesus' words, Dad. He said, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. True, Demiana, true. All right, I wanted to talk to you about something else. What is it, Dad? Someone talked to me today. He is a prince, and he wants to marry you. Oh, but Dad, you know. Know what? You know that I want to live to serve God and the poor people. I don't want anything to take me away from this. Your mother died when you were young. And I just want to be sure that you will have a happy life with your family. I am happy as I am, Dad, and really enjoying living with God. I actually wanted to ask you for something. And what is that, my dear? Can you please build a place for me and my 40 friends away from this busy city where we can live and worship God? Well, I know you won't change your mind. All right, Demiana, as you wish. Marcos built for Demiana and her friends a big palace, and they lived in it, praying to God and praising him day and night. Oh, I'm sure they would have been enjoying that. They sure did, Lavinia. But after that, things started to change. What happened, Dad? Diocletian became the emperor, and he ordered everyone to leave Christianity and worship the idols. Marcos, you are one of my best governors. I know that you are ruling two districts, but I will give you more districts to rule only if you stop worshipping Jesus and offer sacrifice to Artemis. But Jesus is my lord and saviour. I can't do this. <laughs> you will do, and all your family as well. Otherwise, you will know what will happen to your beautiful daughter. Come with me now and worship the idols. What is this, Dad, that I heard about you? I can't believe this happened. Demiana, you don't understand. He was going to kill you. I can't let this happen. Dad, you taught me that Jesus is our life and that without him, our life is worth nothing. You are right, Demiana. I don't know how I did this, but I will fix it now. Where are you going, Dad? I will go now to Diocletian, and I will declare my faith for my Lord Jesus Christ, no matter what will happen. God be with you, Dad. Marcus was martyred in the name of Jesus Christ, but Diocletian was very angry when he knew that Demiana was the one who made Marcus change his mind and return to Jesus. Diocletian ordered his soldiers to go to Demiana's palace and force her and the 40 virgins to leave Jesus. My sisters, the soldiers will reach here soon. If anyone wants to escape, please go now and don't worry about me. We will never deny our faith. We love our Lord Jesus so much, and we will be happy to martyr in his name. Open the door quickly. Which one of you is Demiana? I am Demiana, and I am Christian, and will never leave my Lord, whatever you do to me. <laughs> we will see. Take her to torture until she denies her faith. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. The soldiers tortured Demiana so hard, but she was exceedingly happy to accept these pains in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Dad, she loved God from all her heart. Yes, Lavinia, and God never left her. God sent Archangel Michael to her and healed all her wounds, and this happened every time the soldiers tortured her. This should stop now. A lot of people became Christians because of you. Every time we torture you, and then you come back healed as if we did nothing. This is the power of my Lord Jesus Christ. He never leaves us and always heals our wounds. Enough! I don't want to hear any more of this. Soldiers, take her and her friends and finish this now. 
Demiana and the 40 virgins were martyred in the name of Jesus Christ on the 13th day of the month of Tuba. And many churches around the world are built on their names. Oh, Dad, I wish I could be like St. Demiana. She is so brave and didn't fear any torture because she loved God so much. Yes, Lavinia, sure you can be like her if you keep the love of God above anything else in your life. And this will make you a saint, just like St. Demiana. And now, it's time to sleep. See you tomorrow, Lavinia, for a new story. Good night, my dear. Good night, Dad.